Today we are in Albertville, Alabama and the Mueller Fire Hydrant Factory. Mueller's history begins in 1857 when Hieronymus Mueller arrived in Decatur, Illinois and began creating brass forgings. Over the years, the company grew and began producing many components for the waterworks. One of those items were fire hydrants. In 1974, Mueller moved its hydrant operation to Albertville. That is where we are today. This factory produces the most popular brands of fire hydrants in the world, including Mueller, Jones, U.S. Pipe, Canada Valve, Century, and more. Here's plant manager Randy. The plant was built in 1975. At that time, we moved the hydrant product from Chattanooga, Tennessee to our facility here in Albuquerque, Alabama. We shipped our first hydrant in 1976. Water supply is critical to the pump operator and locating fire hydrants on the fire scene is a top priority. Secondly, the fire hydrant must function properly every time. The Mueller factory members take pride in their craftsmanship and were glad to show us how fire hydrants are made. The process begins with iron collected and deposited into a large kiln for melting. The molten steel is then transferred by a large ladle to a series of molds that are made of foam. The foam molds are dipped in a refractory coating When the 2600 to 2800 degree Fahrenheit molten iron is poured into the mold, the foam evaporates. The upper barrels are then dropped in a large bin to release the sand and then go by conveyor to a cleaning room. The lower barrels are cleaned by a process using tumblers to smooth all the rough edges. The bonnets and caps are made in a separate area of the foundry for high volume parts. The caps are then sent to this robotic machine to have the threads machined into the cap. The upper barrels need to have threads bored to accept the nozzles. The parts are now ready for a primer paint. Caps and other parts proceed along an automated line and are painted with epoxy primer. Now we are in the Mueller assembly bay. Because the Mueller hydrant is so popular and produced to exact specifications, it is produced using a semi-automated assembly process to guarantee quality and keep up with demand. The Mueller hydrant assembly begins with the dolly or the carrier preloaded with all the parts including caps, gaskets, bolts, and nuts. The trolley then moves along a course directed by electronic indicators embedded in the concrete floor. At this station, a robotic arm identifies the fire hydrant style takes a reading and retrieves the proper lower barrel for that product. The upper barrel is connected to the lower barrel and the safety flange is attached. Here a worker slides the operating stem into the barrel assembly.
The bonnet is applied and the oil reservoir is pressure tested. A worker installs the shoe and the entire assembly is filled with water. The water is drained and the assembly is put onto the line to be washed and dried before paint. After the dryer, the upper barrel is ready for paint. Infrared heat allows the paint to dry quickly. Chains are then applied. A worker then loads the completed hydrant assembly onto a pallet and sent to the completed hydrant yard. Hundreds of completed hydrants are waiting for shipping. Hydrants are then loaded and shipped to the customer. In 1999, we produced our first millionth hydrant here at the facility. We're looking at 2017 to produce our four millionth hydrant since this plant was built.